All right, guys. Uh, we got the coil here. Uh, it's ferrite bead wrapped uh, with some 26 gauge around 150 turns, three layers, um, and then we have some 30 gauge. Uh, wrap toroidally. I don't know how many wraps. I got frustrated with the wires tangling um, But it's not completely covered, but uh, I think it was three ohms um, Which I'm okay with at the moment and then we have two toroidal cores that uh, were taken out of a car audio amplifier it had two in a power supply um, And they're just the same length as this ferrite bead so it works out perfect for length, um, you got the battery cap uh, just comes in, and then we got a reed here with the wheel spinning as just get it spinning up, and we have some pulsing going on, and that takes that and goes to our toroidal winding, which, when powered up, should make the core seem to disappear to magnets. And then we have our green wire, the, the standard coil wrapped around underneath the red windings. Uh, it goes to this bridge, to these caps, and then to the meter. And we have nothing. Okay, I'm going to bring in the reed switch. And we're going to spin her up. Now this is just generation from coil to coil. If I take the uh, core out of there, it should go down. Let me see, let's let it go down a little bit. It shouldn't be as high as three with that same speed. It just doesn't quite go as high as the, as the uh, when it's in the core. So we'll put it inside. You can see it jumped up from there. It's still climbing. Speed it up a little bit. She goes up to 3 volts. Now it's just 5 volts going into the red coil pulsed. Um, okay, now we got the uh, N52 magnet. Uh, 3 quarters by 3 eighths. Uh, I had to put a little more spacing on this. Actually, I need more. I need to make a, a rig to adjust where these magnets are. But... I'm going to turn this to a noisemaker so you can see while I bring the magnet into the coil what's happening to the voltage instead of seeing it while I'm bringing it close. We get this wheel spun up. Okay. That's with one magnet. Get the wheel spun up again. This isn't very, you know, I'm not doing this real high frequency pulses or anything, just just some hertz. It hurts. Okay, we got another magnet here. Oops. I'll bring that to the other side. And I'm putting them both on there. Um, seems to be a little too strong. So I gotta go with either some smaller magnets. Um, let's take this one off. For some reason, I did get some better results from it being on the other side. And this this could be adjustable here. See what happens. You know differences. These magnets are strong. They're dangerous. But, uh, yep, she's generating voltage, and it's got to be from the switching that's going from here to here, here to here, uh, across the uh, secondary winding. So it's just a different way of, uh, different way of doing it, solid state. 68 volts, 66. 
that says the pulse is lower, you know. Let's get this going. You see the read switch is uh, got a little blue glow on it from uh, pulsing the red coil. See, so take the magnet off. Bring the other one in. Can't bring it in all the way though. It's too strong. Get this wheel spun up one more time and then we're done. You gotta try some different windings on there, but I like the, the uh, orientation of how it works. Alright, that's it, guys. Thanks.